Hey everybody, George here and welcome back to the channel. So I have taken a couple of weeks off here and I have not put out as many videos and uh, I'm back now and we're in full gear, ready to uh, put out some really good content here over the next few weeks and months. Uh, what I wanted to talk about today is a subject that I think is so important to all of us and that is acclimating new fish into our tanks or our galleries and uh, doing it properly. This is something that I think is so important to getting your fish off to a good start and making sure that they are healthy when they go into your tanks and there's no better way to start that than putting them into their quarantine tanks and acclimating them properly. We have no idea sometimes what the background of these fish are. Um, sometimes we have the luxury of knowing that and there's other times that we don't know that. So getting these fish off to a good start, especially sensitive fish, fish that are expensive, ones that we wanna be extremely careful with and are known to be a little bit more delicate, uh, we need to really pay attention to how we acclimate them and make sure that we're acclimating them properly and doing uh, all the things that are necessary to keep these fish in the best environment that they possibly can be in from the moment that you get them. So we're going to be talking about that when we come back. Hang in there with me and we'll be right back. You know, often we don't realize that the very first step in making sure that our fish are healthy when we're bringing them into our home is acclimating them properly. We don't even think about this as being an important step. Some of us are so impatient to get these fish into our tank that we don't really think about how slow we should be taking this process and making sure that these fish are acclimated properly. Now there are different techniques for doing this. We're going to cover that today. If you've pulled up this video, you're probably pulling it up because the word acclimation is in there and it's something that you're interested in doing properly. And I'm going to teach you a little bit about that today to make sure that you understand the number one thing that you're going to do when you get fish and if you're new to this hobby or whether you've been doing this forever is to make sure that you are doing the very first step uh, properly and that is to acclimate your fish in a way that is going to get them off to a great start in your aquarium so when we come back we're going to talk about a few different techniques that are very common and we're going to talk about a few unorthodox techniques that uh, maybe you've never even thought of for those of you that are new uh, it's in, it's important for you to understand that uh, acclimating fish uh, is uh, not something that you should be intimidated by it should not be something that you rush through that you are patient with that because this hobby is all about patience as i said and if you uh, want your fish to get off to a good start, acclimating them uh, properly and slowly and being patient is everything. And when we come back, we're going to talk about a few techniques, as I said, to get you off to a good start and make sure that your fish are healthy. We'll talk about that when we come back. So one of the first ways to acclimate, um, I'm going to show you this here. I have a box uh, that I keep in the trunk of my car uh, for any kind of new fish that I get. Um, I was given these fish by a friend. These are two inch blue diamond discus. And uh, what I like to do is take uh, a bag such as this that has a lot of um, coloration and stuff like that on it and uh, take them out of that particular setting and put them in a more clear bag so that when I am floating this in the tank, now this is going to be um, a way of acclimating by floating in the tank. These are small enough fish that I can take about a two hour period roughly to acclimate these fish by doing it, uh, by floating them in the tank. But I am gonna transfer them into bags this size and we will basically get them ready the bag ready in preparation now what I like to do is take 
something that's small enough, because these are small fish, and put the bag inside so that I can brace it and it's not hard to dump the fish into here and there's not a long distance for them to go where they might fall uh, a long ways and get hurt. And as you can see, these, these are really become lightened up because they've been in the bag uh, for a while and in the dark, but they will, they will get their blue color to them very shortly after we uh, cut this bag open and get them out of here. So what we're going to do at this point is drain off some of this water because not all of it's going to fit in here. And then we're going to drain as much as we can into this baggie with the fish being uninjured going directly into the bag. Now as you can see this fish now is ready to be floated in the tank and it expands as it comes out of the cup. So you can see that this little guy is ready to be put into uh, the aquarium to be floated and we'll go down and do that in just a second here But I wanted you to see how I did that so that you can see how simple it is to do that without damaging the fish Or harming them in any way. I don't want them to be stressed So I'm going to take them down and start to float them and we'll show you that process in a minute here So as you can see now I have uh, transferred these guys from the bag that the friend gave me and and uh, they are in their own separate little uh, clear bags. They have not colored up yet. They will as I add water that is uh, more conducive to what the tank is uh, and a better environment for these guys. Uh, they will color up and be blue like the one behind them there. I know that seems hard to believe that they will be that color blue, but trust me, they will. And uh, what we will do is we'll do an acclimation here of about 45 minutes of them sitting in this temperature of water, which is approximately 86 degrees is where I keep this at. Um, that is to uh, really keep these fish in top condition uh, and uh, uh, an environment that for sure is uh, going to be uh, conducive to the well-being of these uh, small fish here as well as the other ones in the tank. Now uh, the other ones that are in the tank are all new. This is a quarantine tank and they will all be in this tank until um, I see fit to put them elsewhere or they may remain in this tank. I'm not sure how we're going to work that out at this point here but we will uh, like I said, um, start acclimating these guys for about 45 minutes on the temperature, and then I will gradually add water from this tank um, with a turkey baster, basically. And I'll add a little bit of water here and there to the tank uh, just to, you know, start uh, getting the ammonia that might be in the water out slowly, but not mixing the water from someone else's tank with mine. And uh, at that point, we will, um, uh, like I said, gradually start seeing these guys color up as that cleaner water gets in here. So what I'm gonna do now at this point here is, uh, when you're doing this floating type system here, is it's been about 45 minutes since I put these in here. And so the temperature in the bag should be pretty much the same as it is in the tank. As I said, I keep this tank at about 86 degrees. And what we'll start to do now is be very careful on how we don't transmit because even the smallest amount of water from someone else's tank uh, can be a problem for your tank. So you wanna be extremely careful about not adding water to it so much as taking water out of the bag. And we're not gonna take any water out on this first round here because there's not much water in these bags to begin with, but 
we're going to start to add some of the tank water in with a turkey baster and I'm going to show you how I do that right now. So basically I'm going to go down here at this end of the tank and I'm going to fill this turkey baster up with some water and I'm just going to gradually let this drip into the bag. Hopefully you can see this. And this is going to start to give these fish some cleaner water. Now once I've done that, just to save some time here, I'm going to remove some water from the bag. Same amount, about a baster full out of the bag after I gradually put this in here. But I'm going to put the water in both bags first so that I'm not sticking the baster in there and then contaminating it with the other bag. So this guy's got to want to try to float away. So we're going to, I'm going to hold this up, but I'm going to put some in this other bag as well. As you can see, these fish are starting to blue up now getting very blue and I'm gradually putting some water in this other bag as well very slowly you don't want to shock the fish by uh, putting water in there that's much different I I know that they were keeping their pH at about the same as mine I know that this tank is no nitrites no nitrates and zero ammonia as well. The pH is about 6.8, theirs was 6.6. .6, so not enough of a difference to cause any problems or concerns. So I'm gonna keep these up here like this and I'm gonna get this first bag. I'm going to put the baster in here and I'm gonna take out as much as I put in, just a turkey baster full. Same thing on this bag. We'll just hold the other bag so that it doesn't get pushed down in there. And we're going to get another turkey baster full of water out of there. Now, here's the important thing that you're going to do in between. You're going to go over to where you've already got some very hot water set up, some very hot water set up, and you're going to take your turkey baster and basically what you're going to do is you're going to squeeze this in very hot water and squeeze it two or three times, get water in and out of there to get any contamination whatsoever and boiling water out of here to uh, sanitize this for the next round of putting, um, like I said, putting more water into these bags gradually. We'll come back to that after I've done this four or five times and we'll get to the point where we're close to releasing these guys into the tank and we'll gradually watch the color change in these guys. You can see it around their fins and you can see it in parts of their body where the blue is starting to show up because the cleaner water is now getting into the bag and uh, that's oxygenating their, uh, their water. It's also putting them in a temperature where they really are comfortable and want to be. And then we'll, go, we'll talk about the process of how we put these in the tank. Now, I do it a little bit different. I don't like using nets, so I'm going to talk about how I do that when we come back. Stick with me. So it's been about another 30 minutes since I started this process of uh, adding water to the bags. And now it's time for me to add the last bits of water to this. As you can see, these fish are really coloring up. They're getting that blue like the, the larger um, blue diamond in here is getting. You can see it. And uh, that's because the water is clean, oxygenated, and uh, these guys are getting settled into that water just slowly as we drip this in here. So we're going to do a little bit more of that. And uh, then we'll wait another maybe 20 or 30 minutes as these guys get used to this last little bit of water. And then we will, uh, at that point here, release these guys into this tank. 
And like I said, I have a little different way of doing it. I don't like using nets on discus if I don't have to. There are times you can't get around it. You just have to do it. But I don't like doing it because it can cause problems, especially with uh, larger ones, larger discus, with them getting scratched up or banged up if they get very rambunctious. And uh, they tend to uh, sometimes have uh, problems with getting uh, bacterial infections and so forth. So I avoid all that by doing this just a little bit differently. And uh, when we come back, we're gonna release these guys into this tank. Uh, I gotta take some water out of here. But we are going to release these guys into this tank when we come back. I think we're gonna do a two-part series. I was going to do a, um, a drip acclimation in this video, but I think that would just be too long. So we'll do, the next part of this series will be on drip acclimation, and uh, that will uh, be just a totally separate video, which I think will work out better. This is getting a little bit heavy, so I'm going to put this glass on here so that the bags don't slip into the water. The last thing you want to do is after all the hard work you've put into it is have your bag slip into the water and whatever water is left over in there get into the tank. And, you know, even the most minute particles sometimes can have um, ick in there or other parasites that you can't see. And we don't want that water in our tank. We've taken really um, strong measures to make sure that this tank is extremely healthy, that the fish are very healthy in here. And uh, we just don't want to have to medicate these fish if we don't have to, because that's just putting them through stress that they don't need. So we're gonna be extremely careful to make sure that uh, whatever water's in that bag is going to be gone and like I said I'm gonna show you the process in which I do that so when we come back we'll release these guys so it's been uh, roughly 30 minutes here since uh, the last time we added any more water uh, pretty much there's just tank water in here at this point uh, it's or it's just very diluted so what I'm gonna do is I have a bowl down here now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dump this into the bowl, the water that's in here. I'm gonna dump into the bowl and then I'm going to take the fish and put him in the tank by hand. That way he doesn't get hurt. There's no problems with him uh, or chances of him getting hurt. going to release him into the tank. As you can see, I've done that with very minimal amount of uh, stress on the fish. And I'm going to do the same thing with this guy. from blue to white to blue you know it's it's uh, at this point here going to be just a matter of hours before they'll blue up just like the big guy there and uh, they're released into the tank at this point here we'll come back and take a look at them we're going to turn the lights out probably for the next 24 hours just to keep them uh, calm and uh, stress-free and uh, we'll take a look at them when they are completely blue and they've been in the tank for 24 hours. So we'll see you in just a little bit here and uh, we'll finish this video. So I hope you got an understanding of the technique that I use for floating fish and the way that I acclimated them. Uh, I would say about a two and a half hour period. They were small discus fish, so I wanted to be extremely careful. Normally I wouldn't take that long to float fish. Uh, but because they're 
a little more expensive, a little bit more delicate, and you wanna make sure that these guys really get off to a good start, um, we will uh, spend a little bit more time with a fish like that. Now, uh, we're gonna make this a two-part series, as I said, because uh, I, just, I just took too long with this uh, process of the floating and all that, because I wanted to really show you from start to finish how you do this the right way by uh, not cross-contaminating all kinds of different things that i thought were important for you to understand now the other thing you want to do is at the end you want to turn the lights off on the tank for about 24 hours um, it's not going to harm the other fish that are in there you can turn the light on for short periods of time during the day uh, when the fish are moving around uh, to feed them but at the same time you want to give those smaller fish that were just introduced into the tank a chance to sort of acclimate 100% stress-free and uh, do that in a way that uh, you know is uh, to their best uh, advantage and health to get off to a really good start in that tank. Now the next part of this series we're going to do some other techniques as I said we'll go along a little bit faster because we're not going to actually do that I just happened to have some fish today and I uh, decided you know I'll just show you a, a real acclimation on how I do it but we'll get into some more techniques on drip techniques uh, we'll get into some other like I said unorthodox uh, ways of acclimating fish that you have probably not used before maybe some of you have but uh, not all of you but uh, anyways thank you for joining me today please leave your comments down below hit the like and subscribe and also share with your friends because that's how this channel is being built and I appreciate that so much. So thank you so much for joining me today and we will see you on the next one. Until then, we're out of here.